Hi there, and this is uh, Peter Jenkins. I said I would do a part two um, on star removal and uh, composing an image. Um, in and I use Photoshop and PixInsight for the task. Um, this is an image that uh, was taken recently um, of IC five oh six seven. This is the hydrogen alpha unstretched and it's a temporary stretch with the screen transfer function. I've cloned the image and carried out the same stretch pretty much. Um, I tend to stretch by hand uh, in several small steps using the histogram transformation tool. But really uh, where we wanted to get to was to remove the stars and I'm using this StarNet software which is free. Um, I think I've, I've already said where it can be got from. Uh, this is the result once that's been run on the hydrogen alpha. Um, I have saved the original with stars and without stars versions. I might just go and file, save as, and you'll see here that I've saved it as the no stars version, this one. No stars, save, we'll just overwrite, yes, because I want to show you that um, it's a 16-bit integer that's what I need to use uh, for Photoshop I'll say okay to that okay now um, I've done the same thing with the um, oxygen there's, there's that's the oxygen temporary stretch that once I've carried out the permanent stretch with the histogram transformation um, with that and that's it we're with stars removed now StarNet does a very very good job of removing the stars but if we go to uh, Photoshop and we'll, this is the HA that we've just saved out of um, PixInsight and this is the oxygen and you'll see in the oxygen that there are some stars that it hasn't quite dealt with it usually does a slightly better job than this and I'm quite surprised that there are so many but how to deal with them. Um, this oxygen is one of the colors uh, of an RGB image, an eventual RGB image, and as such it's providing color only. It doesn't need to be quite as sharp as the um, luminosity layer, which I'll apply later and show you how I do that. So removing the stars uh, at this stage, I pick the this spot removal tool um, change the size of it so that it just covers the star I want to remove and if you watch the you'll see the star disappear all it does I click on the stars it blends the area around the, the star and I just go over the whole image and do exactly that where I can see stars there are other adjustments I need to make on this before I compose the RGB image from it, which I'll do in a moment. Right, so I would uh, call the levels tool up, darken. Uh, you'll see that this is a star which has been badly removed, and uh, we need to the background layer we need to look at. And in this case, I'm going to have to increase the size to get rid of that one. And click on it to be sure that I have got as much as I can of that one and a few more stars are revealed once I've done the uh, initial levels adjustment okay I'm going to abandon this here and load the ones that I've already I've already retouched so we'll pause there and come back in a sec okay what we've now got loaded are the ones that I originally worked with that where I had done the, a bit of retouching this the one that you're looking at has got the stars. This was the no stars copy, and you'll see that the the levels have been adjusted. The blacks are a little bit blacker and so on. That's that's the oxygen one with stars pretty much removed, and that's the S2. S2 is a little bit um, lumpy looking. I think I've I've used this uh, a Gaussian blur on it a little bit uh, to try and make it a little bit smoother. Because again, it's only forming one of the colors. So let's go 
and create um, an image by I use Control A to contract to select it all. Control C, File New. Oh, if I can find it, File New, and we're creating an RGB image this time. So we go to the new image, to the channels in the new image, and I've copied the hydrogen alpha, so I'm going to paste that. Control V will paste it. Red for red, we want to go and get our sulfur. Sulfur no stars. Control A, Control C, Control V in the red channel. And for the blue channel, we want to go fetch the oxygen. Control A, Control C, Control V. Paste it into the blue channel. Uh, switch all the layers on, and we've now got a composite image of the hydrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. And um, there are adjustments that are made. You can find the adjustments if you search online. There are four adjustments. I have saved them as an action. So I duplicate the layer, OK. And then I just uh, run the saved convert to Hubble, which I have, uh, which has the four steps recorded basically in Photoshop. I just run that and we get pretty much uh, an image which I would be reasonably happy with. And what I do then is go back into Pix Insight. This is the uh, the image that we've just created in Photoshop. I've saved it in Photoshop, but I have actually run SCNR on this to reduce the green. Because if you remember in Photoshop, there's a little bit of green in here. So in Pix Insight, I've run SCNR and saved it. So I've got an untitled one. Save that as it's already saved. So I'm not, not cancel it as 16 bit TIFF again. In Photoshop, now we can close this one. Close the um, all the no stars images. We don't need those. We'll open that untitled one that we've saved. There it is, untitled. That's with slight green removed. Okay, so onto this. I'm, there are two things, there are two ways of doing this. In fact, I've posted both on Facebook recently. Um, let's open the hydrogen alpha, which is the one with the original stars. If we copy this, Control A, Control C and paste it straight on top of the untitled one, Control V, and change the blending mode to luminosity, you will see that we've now got uh, the colored image with the stars. There are some obvious adjustments needed to be made to this to improve the, the contrast suffered when we did that, and so on. I'm not gonna do that here. It's just to show you that that is one way of doing it, and it provides white stars. Had we left the stars and just assembled the, the three with stars, we would now have magenta stars, which is the, the whole object is to avoid that. Uh, let's just delete that and delete the uh, luminosity layer that we had. And I'm going to get the stars, which I composed in Pix Insight by purely the red, green, and blue layers that I've shot separate red, green, and blue, composed them together. If I stretch that, you'll see it's far more of a stretch than I want because I don't want any of the nebulosity to show. Um, so when I've used histogram transformation, I've ended up with something like that. I've saved that. So in Photoshop, we can open, R I've saved it as RGB stars. RGB stars. I'm going to copy that. Control A, Control C and paste it straight on the untitled, Control V. And this time we're gonna change the blending mode to screen. And the star colors come through then. Um, that's pretty much the finished image that I had. I think I, 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 when I opened the RGB stars the first time, I actually uh, ran one of the actions um, which is increased star color. They're just astronomy tools action set. I think it's about 15 quid. 
and it includes quite a lot of, uh, of different actions, I ran increased the star color a little bit so that when I pasted the stars back in here, um, the, the star color comes through. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, and that's the technique I used for um, removal of stars and composing the image from the hydrogen, alpha, oxygen and sulfur and how I paste uh, RGB stars in on top. And I hope that's helpful. And uh, speak again soon, I hope.